not too long ago. And then last year, Chris actually won YCS uh, Philadelphia. So two former champions duking it out for another championship title. Chris doesn't, Chris doesn't need a third. There you go. So James, you get to choose who goes first. Uh, All right. Chris doesn't need a third one. No? Nice one. What? All right, so let's get this underway. Best of five, by the way, guys. He's meaning Thunder King, Cyber Dragon, Majesty's Fiend. The Savage one of Funny cards. Th uh, mistake, obviously. Thunder King, all the... Yo, Nick Green draws so well. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, he drew pretty well. I was like, uh, like... Oh, that's who else I have to So Sometimes it would be like that. So it looks like we have. Your guys' so, screen is much bigger than me, so you're gonna have to tell me what cards you can see. So Ben, tell us a little bit about Chris's deck. Well, um, like the only card different in his deck from our deck is uh, one decree in the side deck, uh, like for uh, Arch Phoenix centric. Like uh, I'm playing an Arch Phoenix centric, he's playing a third decree. But um, so there's just like two of the. Two each of the good perform mages. There's like Trick Clown, Hat Tricker, and uh, Damage Juggler. And then other than that, it's literally just standard Necros. Or with the foolish. The foolish. I like I like the uh, the clown engine. I think it's pretty yeah, it gives the deck another dynamic. One of them yes. searches, one of them prevents damage, and one of them uh, just summons back for a thousand. No, the one that uh, like the one that prevents damage or prevents effects da effect damage while he's on the field. Uh, like he gets a counter each time that happens, but uh, you can dispatch something up in your hand if there's two or more monsters. On, no, if there's two or more monsters on the field. Okay. So, uh, and then uh, the one that like you can discard it to negate effect damage, like you can negate wavering eyes and whatever. Uh, that one you can banish it from the grave and then add a trick and then add a perform age card from your deck to your hand. So like you can add trick clown if you have like cycle some back unicorn, or you can add a. Uh, Hat trigger, special summon it, and take a rank four. Like, rank four is a very easily accessible deck. It's neat. See, I mean, that's obviously it. Obviously, works for you guys. Like, well, it's kind of a conflict against Shadals because, like, you can't make a rank four, or else those are Shadal, like Shadal fusion. And right, for you out. Oh, well, he's also made in triple Denko, I think, All right, or at least two. Savage T set. Denko does nothing against. T for I know, I know. I'm saying it's yeah. another uh, reason. Yeah, it looks like you drew like Cyber Dragon. Or, is it Cyber Dragon or Denko? Random Lightning? No, I think thing. that's Komodo, Denko. Um, can we get their deck list? I mean, we should, like, we should I know literally go over, we should just go over there and. Hey, Zach, make yourself useful. Go get the deck list. <laughs> just ask for him. Zach, ask for him for us. Breakthrough. Pretty please. Yeah, you just, just asked Josh like, we have the deck list for the stream. Zach just said something racist again. <laughs> <laughs> Does it ever end? What else is in here? Uh, this is still fine. Like the diamond eye is still fine. Yeah. It's still something about distribute. Oh, whoops. Sorry. You can also just like DA I don't know the set that coming over to your screen. <laughs> I was like live TV, folks. Yeah, I well. He could decide some armor that, but like, I would imagine he wants to make his spells useful. So, like, yeah, that I, that kind of is like the last play of the turn. They can't uh, see like, that. Oh, he has a he has a damage juggler in his hand. Um, is that the special summon one? Or no, that's the one? one that you can banish him from the graveyard. Search, search one. So you could tribute that and Diamond Dire for Valve. Uh, sure, but then like the spell that he has in his graveyard right now, the spell that he would use to summon Valve would just be. Useless. Oh so yeah, I, he wouldn't be able to vanish. I would it. probably just tribute the Balcon and the Diamond Dire, and then he could add Cycle, and then cycle summon tribute. back the Unicorn. Right. And then some damage juggle in. Like, not even kidding, he probably has game. Like, with Masquerade. <laughs> or, probably not Masquerade, but some. I, I'm, I'm kind of kidding. But no, 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 I mean, I don't doubt it. He like, has an almost idea that, like... He has, like, five cards. Because, like, the set's... Like hedgehog, assume, uh, assumably. 
Oh, I mean, like, Foolish when you're going for game, you have to assume that it could be Dragon or Stomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that foolish? Yeah, oh, that's foolish from that foolish. That's uh, another combo card. That is young foolish. It's really hard for him not to have game now. Uh, so like essentially, because uh, like he can get your clown to. His, I, I, mean, well, I guess that doesn't really matter. But like, yeah, he, he can just make like. Uh, we also play this card in the extra deck called Bujin Amaterasu. Special back advantage monster. Yep. So like. That should make game a lot easier. Uh, is like, that the three level four requirement yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so like, if he, if he can summon Gungnir, and uh, like if he has a Jew and he can summon Gungnir, he could probably just pop his monster, uh, James's monster, and uh, like make a rank, uh, make Dweller, and then pop James's monster, and then like pretty much stack the game. I'm guessing that's what he's trying to do right now. Just trying to make sure, like, do the math, make sure he's not going to do anything wrong. Yeah, and like Mike said, he could still just summon the size of armor and just banish the face down as well. It's also a possibility to just get around it. <laughs> and he has the size of armor in his hand. The Unicorn DA is already like a win condition against your dolls. Oh, okay. Thank you. Alright, so three of the uh, four of the cards that I've seen in Chris's hand are Valk, Damage Juggler, Foolish, and no Size of Honor. And no clue what the other one is. Yep. It was Brio. Not bad. <coughs> you think you should go for game here? If he can. Yeah, if he's got it, he's got it. Like, it's not like he plays like Vale or anything to stop it. Right. Wait, does James play the other? No, no, he doesn't. No, he, play, he doesn't play anything that'll be able to stop like any this. If he's going for no, games. No, no, no. Not in the main, at least. No, none, ever, anywhere. Okay. Pat out those 70 cards, nothing that stops him. Like, um, so I was saying how you can summon Valk and then tribute the two monsters and then use your two spells, but the one spell in the graveyard can just stay there and you summon the size of armor and then, uh, like banish it, and that's already uh, like, and it's already 53, so you have to do 37 more. Which is literally just doing a ritual spell. Yeah. Looks like I don't think I think your LZ can't do it. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, James just like plays when he's like, like he just like comes to events like with Timid sometimes, just like. That's what we did in Chicago. He just kind of like came and played the same deck as all of us. He doesn't play a lot. Uh, wait. Let me think of Chris Hay. Chris Hay game. Um, Val contributing, banishing two unicorns. Let's see. I think Chris had game. Really? What were the what were the cards in his hand that you saw? He has uh, like the five cards in his hand were decisive armor, Valk, um, what? Brio. Yeah, decisive armor, Valk, Brio, damage juggler, foolish. So he could have gone activate Brio, get Colossalus, get Mirror, activate Mirror, tribute damage juggler, and then banish a Brio, and then Some summon DA. decisive armor. And then add the, uh, like, the uh, hat trigger special. Activate foolish. Um, send trick clown. Pay a thousand. Uh, uh, he doesn't actually take the thousand because of uh, hat trigger. Oh, okay. Like, then he so then it. he has all three on the field with DA and Direwolf. Yeah. Um, so then, what? He is. Um, so like, he just banishes the phase down, the, the phase down, 37, where did that come from? Nope, Whoa. never mind. Major your curve for Val. What were the, what are the attacks of the three, uh, perform ages? Uh, the perform age, like, when Trick Clown, when Trick Clown goes to the graveyard. Oh, it's zero, zero, right? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, I, yeah. I guess he didn't have game. He, he it just, was really close. It was yeah, really he close. needed another normal summon. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's still his turn? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't enter the cycle either, so he actually might be able to kill him. Oh god, yeah. He might still be able to kill him. If he drew into a Jew, he definitely did. He's got a Jew and a juggler. What does Crab King do? Uh, detach switches his attack with his defense. And he's got three. Grand. And all the other monsters you control attack that turn? I think so, yeah. Yeah, everybody can attack. Are you sure? I'm yeah. it's like 90% right, sure. Chris that game then. Yeah, it does like he had game, so I'm saying. You get a summon decisive armor by banishing the uh, the unicorn, the Brio, and the grave. And then uh just banish I don't believe so, I think this is true one. I'm gonna go back and right, wait, I have double to check on your crab king. Wait, did he use Uh I this is turn one. Yep. I'm not using it. Yeah, and uh everything else can attack. Oh whoa. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. He could uh like he could have mirrored and then like with the diamond eye on the field he could have mirrored, banished the brio and the unicorn from the grave, yeah. summon the size of Oh, that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, it but doesn't matter. He, already yeah. he had it game. Up. There's, he, he, there's oh, a short path. Sure long he path. just had game. He chose the long path. What? No, he chose the path that he had to draw the card. Hey, he had to draw you ever heard of Heart of the Cards? Pretty sure that's what got you into this game. No, skill got me into this game. It's right. The path not taken. Like, the fact that it was like chess, and that you could With do things like I just said. So when you had, so that situation where you were explaining where you had the three level fours, DA Darwell, it was a game with that that field. Um, no, what he had to do was normal summon damage juggler, and then send the trick clown and special loop, and then overlay for um, for crab king, and then detach uh, damage juggler. Make it bigger, juggler. and you get another trick clown. And, no, it, and then you oh, attach trigger, and then special summons it, and then it's forty one with the uh, like with the crab king, and then the hat trigger. Okay. And then it's 33 and, uh, two, uh 33 and 2,000. Yep. That's cool. cool. Alright, so game I, li I like decks like that where uh, they can just Mr. bust LeBlanc. out that kind of... Yep. Uh, sorry, buddy. My Deneb sucked. Luke Feeney wrote <laughs> I'll give you 40 bucks right now. 40? If I ever feel like, uh... Wait, how much damage was that then? Whoa, uh, uh, that was, a uh, 94. I feel like strapping on the helmet, dude. I sold mine for, uh, 65 earlier. It's yeah, good. What? It's good. You should get rid of those cards. Yeah, I got rid of those cards. Tellers? <laughs> I got, I'm pretty sure... And they're about like, to get slaughtered. Yeah, uh, I mean, They Rota, already are. Rota, yeah, I mean, their decks are already terrible, right? <laughs> that's, true. <laughs> that's true. The deck's unplayable in Konami <laughs> format, and if the energy format, like... If the next ARG events aren't like their own balance, then this next one play. They got one place out of the top 32. No, there was two. No, there were four. Yeah, Whoa. Right. yeah, there, there were four. four. Whoa, maybe even five. There were there were three events in a row, including YCSs, that there was only one Satana in top, and it was Peter. Huh? What? What is going on? Yo, Phil, PC. Since I'm commentating. Go ask Trevor.
All right, sorry about that, guys. We're back. All right, so we have uh, the deck list here. Phil, Phil's more of a Chick-fil-A oh, guy. That's, that's what he's told me. Yeah. All right, James is playing... Shadals. Shadals. Uh, as you actually might not have noticed from game one, actually. Uh, two beasts, three Falco, three Squad, three Hedgehog, one Dragon. Well, Crazy he, cards he are... Um, didn't play a Shadal card. All right, Mike. I see. I see. He plays... Like this. He's like, forgot which one. That's how much he doesn't play you He's like, I forgot which one you could play three of and which one you could play one of. Sorry, guys. Who's this? It? What? Who'd you take it from? What? Why, why am I having this? Okay. I'm so afraid. This section's gonna explode. Oh, okay. Just gonna, I appreciate it. Yeah, that guy's gonna murder me. He's gonna what? Murder me. No. <laughs> That's the only, only, <laughs> only thing that makes sense is that he's gonna kill me tonight. Yo, we can hear everything you say. <laughs> well, whatever. Well, at least there'll be witnesses. Just throw that as far what? as you can. Nah, I feel bad. There's a gift. Like, the track will be gone. So he's definitely... Let's see what... Let's see, what traps is play? Two core. Mistake, two breakthrough, warning, bottomless, torrent, one torrent, only one. I, well, that matters less than the cards he signs. He signs the second, so that, shh, yeah, what, what cards are relevant here? Three puppet plant. Two dark hole. Two dark hole. Three puppet plant. Um, he might do the third breakthrough. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, it's very possible, but... Um, but three breakthrough and two dark hole and regeki is a lot. He'll probably sign an inferior iron wall. No, nah, I don't think so. What? I don't think so. Why? I don't. Well, uh, do, can, you can you find eight cards to take out? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think James came into this event planning how to side. Wow. Like, we hardly do that. Okay, so. Iron Wall isn't really that effective against. Alright, Zach said he saw him side of him. He saw him side of him. Okay. I don't think it's anywhere as uh, effective as uh, the other cards going to put in. Alright, do you think he's going to keep him at his speed? Yeah, I think so. That card's, that card's really good against you guys, right? You nah, we can just activate a spell from the graveyard and then so like summon something from the hand. But like, he could also just push for damage. Like, he makes Constructs and Falco tribute, and that's already like 6k. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, that's game with the uh, Elshaw people. Yeah, what? But you have to not normal soul. Like, we're talking about Majesty's view, but whether or not he'll keep it in. Oh, okay. I'm speculating for this day. Uh, do you think he'll keep it Cyber Dragon? No. No. Probably not. Cyber Dragon's part of it. I mean, like, yeah. It's there's no, like, like, practical, re like, nothing that it does. Like, in, in his one game that he played, uh. I didn't think he would keep it Majesty's view. Specifically, like, sent it so that he wouldn't draw it later. Oh yeah, he sent Cyber Dragon too, I remember. Yeah, he like used shit off fusions just so he could send it. Well not just so he could send it obviously, but all right, so how many blue fusions does he play? <coughs> what? Uh two blue fusion, okay. His handwriting is atrocious. He he also like, he like kinda of figured out the morning of <laughs> Fair enough. Figured out how to write? No. Oh, oh my I'm god. Kidding. Need a little less sass. Oh, he got a minor. For... This is the event he won, he also had a deck list there that cost him a match. So let's see what Chris decides to Valk off. Alright. He's leaving up either Valk or Unicorn, so. Let's see if uh, James can just uh, take it and then. Um, Make the blue guy. Valk Unicorn is actually just a, like, it's actually just a really strong field against almost any deck yeah. that you're playing against. Because, mm -hmm. like, if, if, if they can't, like, use an extra deck monster on your Unicorn and they can't attack over it, then... Yeah! Oh, Phil is a you. murderer. <laughs> Excellent point, man. <laughs> no, he's an executioner. <laughs> How did we go? Oh. Alright, so this is good. We'll start out for him. 
Let's see how James' hand is. See if he's got a public planner. I don't know why Chris tributed that. You would have kept uh, both of them? And just tributed the um, old man in hand? I would have added Gundy. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> Especially because you see he decides too dark hole. Chill. That rhyme. Sweet rhyme. Yo. Is he, just, is he just setting three in passing? Yep. Wow. Did you guys set Denko? Huh? <laughs> like, no. Okay, just one yeah, I had to think about it. Clowns. Three to Cree, three to Bonk. And Dance Princess. MST. Uh, two plant, two hole, one gecky. Extra deck cards that I can't read. I thought that said something else. Right, Phil, doesn't it look? <laughs> oh my. So James just used uh, break your skill on the Unitor. Yep. Looks like he's gonna try and go in. What's the light he used? Felice. Probably shield uh, Falco and send, bring a Falco and Scamada and these. Wait, what? Probably just gonna send Beast. Oh, well, okay. um, Scamada like would have been really good for him to have. It, like, he obviously didn't have it, but... Yeah. Yeah. So we can, like, search out all here. Yeah. I wonder if Chris added Valk or Gunner here. He added Valk. Does he have Gunner in his hand? Uh, I don't know. What are you good for? Just kidding. Oh my. That was an aggressive. <laughs> What an aggressive response. Ooh. He's contemplating sending Puppet Clan off contract. I don't think that's a legal play. Nah. I think it has to be a Shadow. I don't think so. I think they eratted it. Oh, he's adding. Just I feel like it's up to monsters. the judge's discretion. He's let a couple things pass anyway. Yeah. See, Phil knows. James thinks he's playing a beer. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's like the the, the mirror play. I don't know why he didn't uh, attack. Oh, yeah. That, that would have been a good execution. Uh, it's because Great Sorcerer is in the graveyard. So, like, oh, it, it oh, would yeah, get banished. He yeah, just doesn't uh, want him to be able to banish it. And, like, leaving you in the field. Yeah. 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 No. Nope. Yep. Unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Chris opened up with a Manju or Senju either two games. No, he definitely had um, Senju because that's how he I don't killed hate him. I'm just kidding. Um, he had, no, he had to vault oh, yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he vault through it. Oh. Um, James sided space just for the carry. No, but on Chris's first turn, he just summoned Shadow you. Games. Let's do Shadow Games. I mean, uh, it was almost definitely Shadow Games. Like, he tributed his. Yeah, he tributed his set construct. Yeah. Right. I think, uh. Chris might. Uh, what the? James actually might be able to kill him. Wow. <laughs> James might. What? Whoa. I mean, I mean, yeah. You know what I meant. What? Oh, uh, I was about to say, what? If that is, is a, not the role is a, If Chris is a Jew. Whoa. Alright. James tributed the construct to, to set, set these to beast. get back fusion. To have a Did second fusion in hand. Oh wow, he already had one? I did not see that. Did he have two? He had two. Yeah. You should stick to selling shoes. Oh man. I'm just damn. Hey, <laughs> you're, dude, you are. <laughs> Someone's a little upset that they lost uh, well, a few rounds ago. 
When'd you lose? Uh, top 32. Oh. Yep. He lost me five dollars. He lost himself a lot more. Sorry. I bet on him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I bet Necros wouldn't win this event, so I'm uh, not. What? Winning that. Why would you say that? Uh, someone gave me. Someone gave me odds. They gave you odds. What does that mean? Necros like, is like, like, I would say like 15 percent of the time. odds. So like. I just got two to one. I mean, that's that is. But that doesn't make any sense. Like it's fifteen percent of the tournament. Like fifteen percent of the tournament. That was a that was a guess. How much like, did you put on it? No, you really were. You were like hundred bucks. No, that was a complete I guess. did like ten with ten different people. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you win, then you just yeah, like just make it bang. And if I just you can't lose, turn down a bet. But he said it with multiples of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you lose to? Uh, Nikki Rude. Dude. Direwolf killed the uh, beast. Well, depending how he wants to do this. I really want to know what's Chris's his hand. It's probably like, oh, it's loading. The beast, right? Yep. I think a really good play, like if he could have done it, I, he probably couldn't have. I, oh, well, I guess like he unicorn for a great sorcerer back, so there's almost no way he could have. But if Chris had another level four in him, uh, he could have just summoned Masquerade and then just like, like negate the Falco and then summon like another monster and attacked, and like it doesn't destroy them or anything. It just negates the effect. Uh, I guess it wouldn't matter. They can only use one. Yeah. You're slipping in your old age. Yep. Deteriorating. <laughs> Starting early. Happens to the best of us, man. We put those under probably while we're sleeping. That was that like that was just gay. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, which we and fully support here at ARG and because we nothing, don't discriminate. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, absolutely. All right. Yes, and here comes Val. So, Val bring back Shurit. Did you say Val bring back Shurit? Someone's out. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah. <laughs> I was just uh, discriminated against. It's discrimin so, uh, I'm a little on edge. Well, jeez. So DA is just actually game here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 57. Besides Farmer's no, no. just game. Well, I don't know. If he that. has it, I can get it out. He's trying really trying hard to draw it. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, uh um, okay. could he cycle back the Oh my god! He, he drew Whoa. it. That's crazy. <clears throat> when it's your day, it's your day. Mr. Chow. That's crazy. Pack it up. <laughs> All right. Whoa. <laughs> when it's your day, it's your day. Let's go, Chris! Alright, well, we'll pretend that the mic couldn't pick that up. <laughs> I, I just didn't want it to be too loud. Yeah, you got it. I'd <laughs> take mine off. Right? Alright, so Chris it is up 2 0. He uh, needs one more to seal the deal. James going to have to play to do the hero play and make the 3 0 comeback. I don't know if it's going to happen. Hey, James, We're going to find out momentarily <laughs> after this, uh, this little bit of uh, side decking. What? what? He ripped the DA. You know, could Chris have drawn? You have been writing over here for a long time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of cards you could have drawn. I'm pretty sure right now the Twitch, you know, the Twitch can be like, no, they put it finally put this two big two. They don't, see, they don't see this, this is just for the commentators to change the... Oh, really? Yeah. But they see the game. Yeah.
yeah, no, I mean, I can't blame him. He didn't, he didn't play bad. I don't think he played bad. I, I don't think he played bad. No, he didn't. He had to valk into it. Yeah. Oh, and Pat. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. You're right. He searched like DA, and yeah, I remember that. What did he search this time? What did he uh, search with uh, Harold? Alright, cool. <laughs> All right, here comes that old man. All right, so James Chow does have iron wall in his hand. Definitely peek that. Is there a fusion spell? Mr. Mr. Great Eyesight over here. Oh, it's double iron wall and double math. Well, not double math, but another math. And it's... Well, if that's the case, that's that's kind of a wonky hand. Another math, another big iron wall. Exiton him to the next dimension. He's gonna exiton him to the next dimension. He has the exact amount of cards. He's on his worst behavior. Yes, he he's gonna draw. He's gonna. He's searching a five. I'm pretty sure. And he has a seven. So he's gonna. Those will be six. This is Not looking about as. This is looking about as. Although it's going at a slower pace, looking about Savage as last year when Sahabi just OD'd on Larry. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Yeah, Mermos versus what, Gear Gear? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, you're right. No, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. No, I didn't have like a reason. I was just wanted because I know people. Uh... He DAs it and it just dies. Yeah. But because, like, holes in her Gekis are put in, like... I don't know why he would set double iron, though, if that's what he had. He had two, he had two iron ones. Yeah. With no way to set Exiton with a level 4 down the field. Oh, yeah, I understand that if you only set. Uh, pretty sure we know what's coming here. Dweller! No, it's boom. I was about to say I'm wrong. Bang, bang! Yeah, I was like, what? it's probably going to make a uh, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Lord. Boom. Man. I bet Chris kills him this turn. I'm oh, just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'd love to see that. Oh, that's nothing doing. So he has two masks in his hand. And a mind control, we believe. Two Bam. maths in his hand? Yeah. Yes, Chris got this. He said he drew his, his third math. I knew he had one in his hand already, so. It's something clever to talk about, about math and counting. Uh, he got another math. math or... Oh, his hand was broken. Uh, that you really fixed his hand. What? 
what they do. What it do? What it do? What it do, shawty? I'm from the loo, shawty. What? <laughs> Still over here freestyling. I thought we was jamming, man. Freestyle. Let's go. No, first turn, that's right. Do you agree with trimming the belt? What are you saying? Yes. Like a cycle shrimp. That way he can just get his two spells. And then some like the core. Unfortunately, James has mind control. <laughs> Studying for the SATs. Is that mind control? <laughs> Is that belief? <laughs> I don't think that's another map. Really. I, don't, I don't think that's I belief. Because that was actually that way since the match started. Like, he, he never erased it. And Gungnir. He also knows Gungnir. On the far. Gungnir. On the far. Sorry, I didn't do that. Whoa, whoa. There was another turn in the past? No, this is turn. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Why, like, why did someone duck in it? He's trying to end it. He, he, he exited on Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's what I was saying. Like, I better oh, kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just kidding. He was telling a bit of a uh, joke. Of the, of the funny variety. Game. Of the Yu Gi Oh variety. The cat's meow. Alright, Thunder so King. That's uh, a lot of normal summons. Three of them. And a mind control, presumably, that's. Can't even normal swim, Ellis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was that Regeki? Hold oh. on. I don't think no, so. No, there's no way that's Regeki. No? Yeah, that's just another reason why Chris shouldn't have that is something. Yeah, that's my control. Yeah, that's my control. Alright, well that's, uh... <laughs> game. I mean, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you do in this spot. Nothing you can normal summon can actually do anything. Uh, is gonna at stop least it doesn't do enough. Extra deck, like, I'm just not right. sure. I'm just not sure why Chris summoned the gun. Yeah, it's, here. A it's called a statement. What? You're making a statement, boy. Okay. Dang, Chris is going fast. I think he's tasting this championship. I think we're all seeing the same thing. Oh, Lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! That's it! LeBlanc takes it! LeBlanc takes it in a dominating 3-0 fashion. Last year in Philadelphia, he won YCS Philly. This year, he wins the ARG State Champ or ARG Circuit Series Championship in none other than Philadelphia. Desmond, Patrick, Ben, all excited. I think Zach might have clapped. That guy's you can't weird. play foreign cards but Chris for real. Man. And, that, and, that, and by the way, that's coming off of losing on the bubble four or five events. In a row. Chris LeBlanc, your champion, folks. Yes, thank you, Mike Knowles. I didn't say that. Uh, say it already. But uh, yeah, appreciate appreciate that, Mike. Thank you for throwing the mic on the floor. Yes, drop the mic quite literally. But yeah, that's gonna that that's it. That's it, man. Chris LeBlanc takes it. 3-0. Wow. So every so both both circuit series championships have ended in 3-0s in the finals. Yep. Wow. Wow. That's something. <laughs> All right, win two championships in Philadelphia, man. Nothing wrong with that. Good stuff to Chris LeBlanc. So many cards I saw I got in the <laughs> All right, well, guys, I guess that's going to do it for us here at the, the, uh, the Circus Series Champion.